capture point warning and again with the previous required points I'll take you through that in a minute so apply that and cancel go to your trigger area change it from CP1 trigger area to CP3 trigger area control point you want it to relate to will be CP3 flag again with the with, with all of these options it's up to you so go to your outputs just change it from CP1 base to CP3 base so it changes the skin when this control point is captured go to the second output and do the same apply that and go to cancel now you have three working control points however 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 you want them to be configured so you have to capture the preceding point before you can capture the proceeding point um, and vice versa for the other team so what you need to do is go to your first control point on the red side you can do it for the first control point on the blue side but I'm going to start on this side so if you want to start on the red side like I am then feel free uh, select your flag um, for this control point and right click and go to properties or you can double click um, now we need to go to the red previous required point this basically means what previous required point is required before you can capture the this point because this is the first red control point and there is no preceding control point to this um, you can't put nothing in here um, so leave 1, 2 and 3 blank and go onto the blue previous required point 1, 2 and 3 now for the blues to capture this control point they need to own their own control point near their base and the middle control point so you need to select in order so it'll be 3 and then 2 so blue previous required point 1 would be CP flag CP3 flag and the blue previous required point 2 will be CP2 flag um, because there is no third previous required point before this control point you don't have to put one in there go to apply and now when the blues try and capture this control point they will have to own these two first so they can't go from their base control point to this one and try and capture it as that won't work as, the, as there'll be a warning telling you you have to capture this one before you can capture this one so that's quite nice um, now the neutral control point is slightly different so click on the flag go to right click and go to properties or double click um, the previous red required point um, will be this one because there is one before this one the reds will have to own this before they can capture this one um, because the this this tutorial only has three control points um, if you're doing five control points you will need to fill in the third one um, just use your just use common sense when filling in if you have five control points then you would add all of the control points that you would need to capture so but because it's only three and there's only one preceding red control point to control point two just put uh, CP1 flag and then because there's one previous required uh, previous control point before this one for the blue team you need to go to the blue and go to CP3 flag go to apply and then go to cancel go into the blue bases flag and go to right click and go to properties or you can double click on it again um, likewise with the red one there is no preceding blue control points so leave all the blue ones blank and because there is one and two that you need to capture before you can capture this one um, you need to put CP1 flag and CP2 flag in the red previous required point boxes click apply and then go to cancel now you have three working control points but you have to capture the preceding point before you can capture the proceeding point so these will work. I will upload this VMF uh, for you if you if you would like to just run it in your in your hammer. Um, sorry, this has taken so long and my hammer did go funny, but um, I hope you get the idea of how to create control points now. Um, I'm sorry, it's a bit long-winded as well, as I had to go backwards and forwards, changing stuff after I've created stuff. Um, that's not a noobish thing by me. It's just it's just the way it has to happen, unfortunately. Um, if you have any questions, please PM me or leave me a comment on YouTube, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have an idea for a different tutorial, 
that you would like to see me make to help you in Hammer, um, just PM me or leave me a comment on my on my YouTube uh, channel page, and I'll try and do that for you. Um, I will create the Team Control Point Master tutorial now. Um, so yeah, I hope you know how to make control points or are on the the track of making control points. And best of luck.